Hi, I'm Quentin Young. This is Second Story Garage, and I am here with Zach and Liz from Dust Bowl Revival, um, all the way from Venice, California. And uh, we were just we were just talking about revival bands. We, I was thinking we actually have had two other revival bands at least in here: Trout Steak Revival, they're from Colorado, and uh, Elephant Revival. But you guys are the Dust Bowl Revival, and that really kind of does describe the, the sound you have, right? Where does that come from? Um, the depression, a little bit of gypsy jazz in there. Yeah, you know, we uh, the band's been together about five years, and it's sort of grown with uh, the different members that have joined uh, over the years. Uh, started off kind of more of a folky um, bluegrass kind of thing, and then it grew with the trumpet and trombone and drums joining as a New Orleans bluegrass mashup. Um, some of us are from the Midwest, so I definitely love that Steinbeck image of everyone rolling out you know, across the plains to California. Right, right. And uh, the revival for me is more about bringing the party to wherever you go. Um, and we challenge the other revival bands to a fight. <laughs> no, there's a lot of really amazing revival bands, and it's sort of a, a classic name for, for bands that play old-time music. Now, you're from Venice. Are you, like, out of place in Southern California, or, you, or is there, like, a lot of this kind of stuff going on? This kind no, of we, have a, we have a pretty loyal following in Los Angeles area. Um, we, most of us are transplants. I think Connor, our fiddle player, and Daniel, our mandolin player, are both from the area. But everyone else is from a lot further away than California. So mm -hmm. people are into it. They want to just get down and have a good time, and we, we bring that pretty frequently. Yeah. I, I think it's really actually become one of the main scenes in LA, oddly. Uh, the swing scene is big. Uh, there's a, you know, there's a Balkan sort of uh, Middle Eastern brass thing going on, and there's uh, definitely a lot of bluegrass, so it's sort of become, I would say, equal to the pop and rock scene. You just described Colorado. Uh, That's why we're here. That's why we're here. <laughs> we love, we love uh, that Colorado has really been embracing this music. It's just why we've been... Is this your first time coming through Colorado? We went to Denver area a couple times, but nothing as extensive as this. This is our first, like, Colorado full tour of mm -hmm. the whole state. Uh, Liz, I actually uh, have to mention that you actually taught me something about our newsroom today. I did? That we have a toaster. <laughs> I had no idea we had a toaster. It's good to have. And, well, and did for... you actually get use out of it? Yes, I'm heating up some chicken right now. Right now? now? Yeah, currently. Oh, that's what I smell. That's <laughs> Thanks good. That's, for the hospitality. I hope it works well. I thought I smelled something burning. Uh-huh. And uh, there's actually eight of you, and you guys pulled up in a van today, so it uh, must be pretty cozy in there. We uh, have to do a Tetris packing job each time because we have an upright bass and a full drum kit and eight people stuff. So it's actually more roomy than you think. Um, but, you know, sometimes when we're on longer tours, we get a sprinter van with a big cargo hold. Oh, that sounds but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been fine. We've, we've been lucky with the weather so far in Colorado, too. So, so now you have, uh, speaking of travel, you have plans to go to Europe next year. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Where are you going to be, and what's that all about? We are going uh, mostly in Holland. Uh, there's a promoter over there that brings a lot of uh, kind of traditional Americana music, and people have been embracing it over there. Um, we've seen pictures of some friends mm -hmm. playing huge festivals, like like they're rock stars, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, I think almost in Europe they embrace the music even more because it's such a novelty for them. It's such a special treat. Mm -hmm. So I know we're going throughout the Netherlands and then we're going to Bergenfest in Norway. Mm -hmm. So that'll be really fun. That's in June. Mm -hmm. And you're also working on some new music. You're going to release some new music. Yeah, we're releasing year. a new live recorded album in uh, spring of next year. So Awesome. Uh, do you have a name for that yet? or uh, You want to you help, us, help us with that? Something having to do with revival, I'd say. <laughs> the revival revival? The, re <laughs> the revival of Dust Bowl Revival. Now, that'll be what, your fourth uh, release? Yeah, it'll be the fourth uh, full band uh, album. And this is definitely a departure for us where we've really just kind of laying it out there of what we play, uh, have, how the audience reacts. And, um, you know, it's a little daunting because you get only a few tries. And, you mm -hmm. know, if a song doesn't click, it's not on the, not on the record. So um, we're going to be playing a big show at the Troubadour in L.A. December 4th is the final sort of big recording set. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing how it turns out. Well, you guys are a lot of fun to watch. Um, 
after you got finished playing, I walked out, and there were people kind of moving out in the newsroom <laughs> listening to you. So uh, you had the audience in here, but you also had our audience out there listening to cool. you. So thanks a lot for coming in. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Dust Bowl Revival. This is Second Story Garage. Watch the videos. <laughs>